All right, good afternoon, everyone. It's a cold 11 degrees below zero. And we're out here, a uh, friend of ours, out along our trap line, so he's pulled out here to let him to check him out. And he's got a two man shelter, so we let uh, Pooh Bear Trash Panda. I says, Well, we'll just let Pooh Bear Trash Panda with you if you have an extra pole. We'll just let you guys fish, see who catches the big one and the most distance. And so we're just waiting for them in the car because it's just a tad bit too cold. And um, I've been using just this in a flannel shirt but today i could have used my car heart easy hey bud show them out there where Jaden. yeah Jayden pooh bear just a minute mm. pooh bear is right there how you doing we're doing good so Jaden's in that shanty yeah He's in that shanty ice fishing. He's uh, it's 11 below zero, so it's a little cold to be out there at the wind. It's a little raw, and Jackie and I don't have our shanty and stuff. We we're out checking our trap line, and and uh, we had more wolves walking around our set than uh, anything. He said, ha, ha, 26 degrees out there. Lucky you. Yeah, 26 ain't bad. 26, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, we, we take 26. <laughs> but yeah, it's 11 below. It's supposed to be cold all week. Yes, it's, oh my goodness. I think it said maybe 30s by the end of the week. I will take 30s. After this, it'll Same feel like us. summer. I'm getting kind of tired of being out trapping every day and man we're not not getting anything we caught one bobcat here a few days ago another bobcat at that and we don't want no more bobcats but it was nice to catch something and uh but the coyotes that we do see they're rumming by stuff and uh and then the wolves are all around our sets well, we don't really want to catch a wolf. Is it or summer feels like the fall? Summer for you all is like late fall for us. Yeah, they get quite hot down there. So to all, but then again, it's just like the Philippines for Jackie. We gotta have shout out for everyone in here. We have PC Outdoors, please, guys, if you're not connected with him. We love this kid. He's our adopted child in here. <laughs> so check him out. He is a great kid. And he's doing a lot of stuff for trapping, he hunting. Had a, he had a goal of three coyotes. And he got his three coyotes already. And I think he can do more. He's got some pretty good land. I think he can do more than three. He, he's got three but I'd like to see him get at least five. Got to break his record, you know. Uh, so we're hoping that he can can do that. I have him about a month. Yeah, right? he, yeah he's got all. Weeks. Yeah, he's got four weeks left. We got two weeks. You can do it, buddy. For coyotes and stuff, and I told Jackie I'm getting kind of tired of driving around looking at empty tracks, and having to uh, clean the sets out every day and. It's just getting to be ridiculous. I'd like to get one more coyote because my goal is 30 and we're at 29 and I'd like to get one more coyote. But as far as uh, everything else goes, the coyotes, the wolves and all canine wise, I think we're at or one above. Did you get a picture of the bobcat? We had a video, but I don't know. If I don't think I got a picture of it. I no. could uh, screenshot it yeah, from the it, video. It's pretty pretty good one, pretty good size. Just one more. <laughs> it's just just one more bobcat that we couldn't keep. Right. And if we had Texas law or rules, yeah, catch them all, you know, we'd we'd be actually dude, we'd be pretty rich because bobcats bobcats are paying good money this year. We'd actually be in the money. What is it? Eight eight bobcats? Is it? Yes, eight. Eight. 
Yeah, and them things are going for around for up here 50, 60, between 50 and 65. So, you know, you figure eight bobcats. We're gonna get a lot more for the bobcat we do because we're we're gonna send it in at it and the girl said she'd pay 150. So but yeah, we need one more coyote. One more coyote. But I don't think we're gonna get it. It it it's really rough. I mean we got it we got a few check ch uh to check. But we're all down in this part of the area we're we're done. We gotta we got to head up about, what is it, about five miles north, and then we got to check our sets up there. Could have one up there, but, um, yeah, this year has just been really hard with all this snow. Um, we've seen a ton of sign. Oh, last night, the, the one road we were walking on, it just, or drove on, it, it must have had like seven or eight coyotes running it. But we couldn't tell what they were doing. And we've been looking on the trails, and we have not seen any trails with coyote sign, just deer sign. If you had to choose to order, would you choose one ounce Gator LDC or 16 ounce LDC? A pro sets Bobcat Pro. Shot because of $35 budget shipping. Um. Well. Honestly, I like them both, and Bobcats will go after, will go after both of them. Uh, and honest truth, because most of our sets that we've got, we actually had Gator LDC down in the hole with another bait, and we also had Bobcat Pro on it. And Bobcat Pro actually has glands and everything else on it, so. Uh, and I don't know what the shipping would be on that particular stuff. Uh, probably couldn't be too much for either one of them. But honestly, they both work. Um, I, I tell you the truth, I quit using the Bobcat Pro. I quit, I quit using it because I don't want no more. I don't want, want any more. Oh, there's Mr. Bob Ruggiero. He said, if yeah, I could. Sorry, I met, sorry, I met my my goal. We're one hang from in our goal. there, you'll get one to make your goal. Yeah. <laughs> hang in honestly, there. Honestly, Bob, um, honestly, we're getting more wolves around our set. I did have a wolf in my set here, what is it, about five, six days ago? And we think somebody released it, and after they released it, might have shot it. Uh, because there was blood there, so we had the wardens out there. But we got another bobcat the other day. What is it, two days ago? We got another bobcat, eight bobcats. Step Van Dan, hello. Hey, I bet it's nice and cold up there in Minnesota there, uh, Dan. Because I know it's 11 below down here. And we're just like 45 miles straight west of uh lacrosse it's pretty chilly chilly our boys out here our Thanks boys out here in a tent uh fishing with a friend of ours um the wind is just a little bit too raw for jackie and me to be just standing out there so you know i picked a fight says yeah we're gonna have a a fish off so Jaden and our friend bob he's out there out there uh trying to catch some fish. Jackie wants some fresh fish. Look at her. She's smacking her lips already, man. She wants some fresh bluegill. Shout out, shout out, PA trapping in the outdoors. Sorry, yesterday when I go, went live, <laughs> you just came in. I said, I'm scared of Mr. <laughs> PA. <laughs> I, well, I just had my 30 minutes break. I challenged the boys at work because they loved my chicken feet. <laughs> yeah. Adobo chicken feet. And so, uh, PA so, Trapper, uh, you should uh, uh, join Mr. Bob Ruggiero there. Uh, he has the some owner. pretty good beaver bait um, we bought from him. We, he has some tainted beaver, regular beaver, and he's got a, a liver oil. 
and I was using that tainted beaver and uh, the liver oil in a set with no no other lure, and we actually did rather rather well. I think we caught like what four or five dogs with it. So, you know, anybody that's out there, you know, get a hold of Mr. Bob. Bob um, Ruggiero. Bob Ruggiero. He's um, the owner of the East Fork Predator Baits. Yeah, East Fork Predator Bait. Um, so yeah, we, we, we love his stuff. Yeah. You know, he's kind of like a sponsor to us. He's given me plenty of bait this year. So And it's working and, in our And it set. does work. I and mean, we it, catch him. Yeah, we've caught animals with it. Um, there's something about it. It just works. So we, Shout out 351 Cleveland. Thank you for coming. Great channel in here, guys. You can connect each other. Steph and Dan, big supporter. PA Trapping Outdoors. PC is there. Cleveland, 351 Cleveland. Yeah, and PC has a goal. He would like to really get up to 500. I'm not exactly sure what he's up to right now. Um, uh, but I know the last time he was just right close to that 300 mark. He really wants to get up to the uh, the 500 mark um, as much as possible. So I know uh, you guys can help get him up that way. So I, PA said... I saved the liver of the beaver earlier this season called the fox and raccoon, and it seems to draw them in deer liver works too, also. Yes. Yeah, this year I didn't even try. I didn't have any baggies with to bag my deer liver. And when I, I threw it back up inside the deer and it dragging it, it just rolled out and I didn't catch it. So something had a good meal. Yeah, PC is at 269. Please, guys, uh, support also PC Outdoors. He's our younger trapper, and he's our adopted child in here in YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and he's our really good kid. Yeah, PC's our adopted, our adopted son. Um, we really like him a lot. So thank you, Cleveland. Yeah, thank you, Cleveland. Yeah, he's... PC's a really nice kid. He, he's and 12 he's, years old. He's learning how to catch them. He's at uh, he's at his goal of three coyotes. He had a set of goal at three coyotes, and he's at three. And I believe he's got a month left. I believe he could get five or six coyotes. I mean, he's got a got a guy that's allowing him to hunt. He lost his his one place to trap, but he gained another and. Yes. He's doing pretty good. Uh, there, can you hold that? He's doing pretty yes, good. Pork predator beats. Yeah. If I can type in here. Jackie can type. Um, she's over here behind. There's Miss Jackie. Hello. She's all in her. Uh, she's in her Miss Jackie pink. Um, funny thing is, is if you look what she's wearing. Um, I wore them as a kid. Them are uh, navy deck pants. They're wool lined, uh, heavy material on the outside. Um, uh, that's what uh, what she's wearing, and they're pretty warm. I used to sit in snowbanks with those. I also hit my goal on raccoons. It was thirty, but I got hit thirty six. I can't remember. Uh, see, somebody else came in. Bar you take boy tips. Hello, how are you? Como, how, um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we're just hoping that Jaden could catch some fish. Um, I just didn't want to sit out there in the cold. I didn't bring my car hard jacket. Um, I should have. But you take a look, Musta. But if Jaden yes. catches some, you know, my boy's 10 and he likes catching some fish. These guys, if you're not connected yet for this um, great channel in here, Baryutic Boy Tips. He's doing gardening and different stuff. You're from the Philippines, Baryutic Boy. They grow farming and doing farming. 
carabao which is the water buffalo in here so thank you for coming you can face it <laughs> well you were talking so you it's, know i think they'd here. rather look at you you're a lot prettier than me let's see you know i can biotic boy tips please connect to pc outdoors we have an awesome, awesome channel. So big supporters in here. He just dropped his link. We have Cleveland, 351 Cleveland in here. Connect to him. PA Trapping Outdoors. Great channel. Yeah, PA, we're not catching any coyotes neither. I haven't caught in a Step coyote in what? Then, then. Two weeks. It's been what, two weeks? Two and a half weeks since I got a coyote. Got another dang bobcat the other day. You know, that, that we caught. I had a bunch of wolves around my sets. We I, we got more wolf sign around my sets than anything. And Mr. Bob Rogero is here. He's a great owner of uh, East, East Fork, Fork Predator, Predator Baits. Baits. PH and their tools have been the key for me this season. Yeah, that's a strange for you, Loki. <laughs> that's the acid. Yeah, it's. But we got so much snow up here. It's it's ungodly. I mean, you look at here. This this is this is this is our snowbank over here. These, this is what what I'm having to deal with. Um, you know, in some areas it's drifted up over my traps. Um, it's just kind of pathetic this year. You know, we got. More more snow than we've had in years past, and, we, and it looks like they're they're about done. I don't know. And we have another great channel coming in in the house, Georgia Trapping and Fishing. Yep, here yeah, you Mr. might want to take that so I can go help those yeah. guys. So they are. Looks look like at the guys. About, look at Pooh Bear Trash Panda in there with Mr. Bob, our friend. I think they're about done. <laughs> so they're doing fish, ice fishing. I don't know if they catch fish. It's just so cold today. It's below 10. I don't know how the uh, feels like. I think it's windy every night. They don't like to move that wind. I know it's, oh boy. PC, you need to connect also to Georgia Trapping and Fishing. He's a big supporter. He's doing live stream too. He's a great guy. So look at him. <laughs> I think they're trying to. I don't know what they're trying to do. I think they're done. So thank you guys for coming. So we just go live while we're, uh, we're waiting for the boys. So it's just so cold next blog 21 hello sis thank you for coming how are you kumusta kumusta thanks for the kind words you're welcome mr craig i already watch him all the time how to dispatch the whistle in 110 was cool any luck today georgia yep thank you thank you so much so then people in the house thank you so much so I think they're done. <laughs> yeah, it's so cold today. Really, really cold. Freezing cold. So that's why we stay in the car while the two boys doing their fishing. Because we didn't have, we're just checking our traps and we didn't have our Aishani yet out. We have a brand new one and we never got to use it yet. So, but we'll be doing ice fishing too. So again guys, if you're not connected yet to Nits Blog 21, she is all over. She is a great channel. She's doing live and you could get more people in there too. So please connect to her. PC Outdoors. 
great channel pa trapping and and outdoors 351 cleveland nets black 21 what's in here Baryotic boy tips great channel they are big supporters guys all of these people in here are big 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 supporters What's better, 31 Cleveland or 351 Windsor? <laughs> Mick H. Hey, look, he's living a like I'll watch tomorrow. Time difference. Sorry. Thank you so much for coming in. Greatly appreciate you. So, guys, if you are not connected yet to Mick H., please, please. Uh, he is a great channel, too. Connect to him too, please. And just leave a genuine comment so that they can get back to you and support back. PC Outer Connected. Thank you, Baryotic Boy Tips. Salamat, salamat. It means thank you. So, please, guys, just connect each other. So the boys are done there. <laughs> We're in the lake. I don't know if they catch fish. I love some fish. <laughs> Only me eat it anyway. They catch any. I don't know if they catch any. Uber is <laughs> holding Mr. Bubs. I see any. So look at that boy. Coming up, it's all be uphill, Baryotic Boy. Yes, it's in here, Baryotic Boy. It's it is a negative ten Fahrenheit. It's below freezing. Look, our friend Mr. Bob. So he has a wood in there so that he can put his stuff in the back of his truck. Mick H, what's up, man? <laughs> so, Pooh Bear Trash Panda is there. Take care, Mick H. Thank you for stopping by. So, we're, we need to bundle up. It's, oh, I'm so tired with it. It's so cold. I can't wait to... For springtime and summertime, we can do our gardening. Hey, just tired, but thanks, Cleveland. Either way, I'm sure he had a good time ice fishing. That's all that matter. Yes, that's for sure. I love actually ice fishing. I can then I have my hillbilly pool, <laughs> like in the Philippines. Um. Uh, it's like a catch, uh, what do you call that? It's like catch, it's like a bamboo thing, but it's actually in, not steel, but I just throw it and I catch a lot with my hillbilly pole. Because I, if I will, I uh, fishing using my regular rod and I'm getting close to the two boys and they get mad on me because it's my, uh, my fishing rod will tangle their oh yeah we have bc outers here thank you so much for coming in bro he is a great channel please connect to him too he's doing hunting fish uh i think he's doing fishing and doing uh different stuff of cooking too so that's the boys in there they're done ice fishing <laughs> they're helping mr bob Putting the stuff in his truck. So, how are you, DC Outdoors? Good to hear, Cleveland. That's a lot of snow. Yes, we have tons of snow. Oh, I think they catch something. 
Oh oh. Yeah, they have they catch I believe bluegills. We're live, Pooh Bear. Did you catch something? No. Oh, Mr. Mr. Bob, Bob got did. Him. Oh, can, they can got some the bluegills. Can we get the bag, please? We have some. Bag. Do you have a bag? I think just a minute. You can put it here. Dad said you had a bag. Just give me a minute. Okay. You can put it here. Stop for now. So he had two fish. I don't want to drop them out. Just Can put you them open in. it? Hold them open, Mom? Please. Just put them. Please just hold them open. Yep, I'm holding. There you go. Yeah, I think they catch something. Two bluegills. Now That's you have perfect the for fresh. Now you have the fishy smell glove. You can have it now. <laughs> Good job, Jaden. He's Mr. P PA trapping. Thank so you. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he said thank you. Yeah, so at least they catch something. Yeah, oh, I've been it's been a while. <laughs> I love fresh fish. Any fish. All day long I can eat it. Either from the lake or from the ocean. I love I love them. I have a lot of recipe for I uh, for fish. It's a bit small but but we are allowed to do it. Sorry Loki okay. Have to sleep. Bless you all. Thank you so much. Take care and thank you for stopping by. Greatly appreciate. So we just need to uh, finish up with our watch hours. We're getting there. It's kind of slow. Back and forth but We'll be getting it soon. Got it. It's okay. Thank you for the fish, Mr. Bob. Uh, he's our great friend. So again guys, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate you in here. Staying with us. Hello. Hello. We got a few more left, not very many, you know, now we only got about five. Hey, it's not all night long, just kind of like this, it doesn't matter. Yep, see you later. Take care, Mr. Bob. He's going to take the chainsaw and try to get it started. Yeah, he hey, grabbed our chainsaw hey, too. Oh, there was the bag back yeah, there. Yeah, it's in here. You got my glove right, Mom? I have only one, Bubba. You have the other one? You better check. Yep, uh, yep I have. All right, he has the glove, so. I gave him the glove. Yeah, put it together. So, blueberries in the back now. <laughs> yeah, no. So, look at our lake in here. And too much snow. <laughs> Yeah, you would like Mr. Craig. You can have some of our snow. <laughs> we have too much. Plus freezing weather. Well, that's some of the problem. Some of the problems where my sets are. 
you know, there's so much snow that, and then we had freezing weather and some of the snow underneath is actually frozen. It's like ice. I had to dig that out um, two, three times. And then right now, it, it's the last few days, it was just soft stuff, a couple more inches. Um, I think it was like two or three inches, I don't know. That stuff's all light, and you can still, they, they step on them and it, it'll still go. But. It's a crazy little things, but I'll stick with the rain, because in Georgia, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they've been raining, raining, raining. Yeah, if I had that kind of weather, I'd be catching them. You know, it just, it's hard with the snow. And, yeah, usually we haven't had this much. And the thing is, is, a lot of it's hard pack. We got soft on top, but we might have a foot of snow. And even with me, I'm at 300 pounds, and I don't go through it. So I, I don't see how a coyote or a wolf or anything did it. And I had just reset that one the bobcat was in. I had just actually cleared everything off uh, the, uh, the afternoon before I caught it. So I caught it that night after clearing it up, you know. But it's just getting kind of hard, you know. Yeah, that bobcat actually catch, you catch it in the back. Hind foot uh, hind catch. Foot. Yeah, it was a hind foot catch. Look at but, the sunset. <laughs> yeah, the sunset's a nice sunset over there tonight. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of hard to release it. So. Boo Bear had a fish on. He just started reeling. He forgot to set the hook. Oh. Otherwise, he would have had one, yeah. It's okay. But Mama got two fish. She, she, she'll eat them. She'll be happy. She'll probably fry them up as soon as she gets home. Oh, Super yes. fresh. Give her a little something. Jaden and I like doing that for her. Jaden don't like fish at all, and the way Jackie cooks them, I won't eat them because she don't like filleting them, <laughs> and I won't eat anything. I won't touch any any fish with bones. I find a bone, even in a piece of cod, I'm done eating. You know. I gotta get some raccoon skin before they freeze. <laughs> Yes, you should skin it. It won't take long for it to freeze here. Grace, I think even if I had them in the back, uh, I think they'd freeze up. I don't think they'd stick around very long. Yes. They'd be freeze. Freezing. Freezing. <laughs> yeah, a little bit too cold. Another great people here. Mr. Dan, Handicap Traveler, hello. You guys have some snow in there where you went. Great video too we watched this morning. Green lives matter. Hello. Green best because I come to Jake Houston channel. Jake is a fellow wrestler. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Jake, for sending Green Lives Matter. Yep, Jake. Jake Hosdon is really good. He's a big supporter of us too. We got more snow today. Yeah, and if you can, we really need the hours now. We got over our 1K, but we need 1,400 hours to get to the monetized. And Jackie and I have been talking about uh, if if we get monetized, we get the 1,400, we get monetized, and we're talking about maybe having a giveaway. Um, we haven't decided what we can try to get um, for a uh, for gifts, but we are talking about um, uh, doing stuff for mon once we get monetized. So please, if you can, run our videos, uh, run every single one you can. Get us our fourteen hundred watch hours. We need to get our watch hours done so we can get the monetized part, and that way, Jack will know that I won't have a heart attack worrying about getting all of that stuff because the 1K about drove me crazy because <laughs> they took it away twice. And so for us, third time was the charm. So guys, 
please connect to Green Lights Matter and Handicap Traveler, great supporter. What, uh, mega love shout out, my green loan. Um, Freezing Bound Outdoors, mega love shout out. Thank you so much. <laughs> on the 1k congrats on the 1k thank you so much yes it was oh my goodness <laughs> it's it was a uh, horrible because it's they we had it for the third time we had it for the third time hey freezer you freezer you dropping freezer bound let's see he's asking if you are dropping I'm not this year, hopefully next year for sure. Hmm, who else in here? What's well, got three, two raccoons pass on? Kind of, oh, I'm not really sense. trapping. I'm just driving around. Uh, last two, and a, about two and a half weeks, one bobcat. But I did say I'd be happy to get anything in my trap. So I guess uh, I kind of put my foot in the mouth there but I did say even a possum a possum raccoon coyote I'd take anything and I guess when I said that the, the bobcat hurt me you know <laughs> so guys please connect each other everybody in here in the chat is a good supporter great channel and they're all over I figured you haven't seen no trapping uploads. Good luck if you do. Yeah, matter of fact, when we got the bobcat, he'd been running around in circles and he dug tons of ice up into the trap. And even after I got it open, his foot was actually attached to the trap still because of the ice. So we released it and it was a full pad catch and he went away uh he he was not hurt he had no scratches or anything from it so but now next year when we'll have two tags because chances are jackie and Jaden will both have tags and then we'll have a problem catching <laughs> catching them because we're getting so many this year but i was conked five days in a row it was I was really excited to see possum yesterday. That's what he wants to I don't give care. The possum. I, I want to see something, you know. <laughs> Heck, I won't even mind seeing one of the wolves in the trap, you know. Mm -hmm. At least then I call up and then the USDA guys will come out and tag it for us. You know, they, they'll come out and tag it and uh, collar it so they can track it, get more data on wolves, you know, and that's always good, you know, when they put that out there on the animals so you know there's no over harvesting um, you know and they know they can set quotas by them so we don't mind helping out the, the US, USDA guys you know you know it's just one of those things we we try doing whatever we possibly can So again, guys, PC Outdoors in here too. Please support him. His his channel is still baby, <laughs> baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need more supporter for his channel. He's a great trapper, young. Uh, what do you call? It? He's our young trapper. PC Outdoors, check him out, please. And Freezer Bound Outdoors. Handicap Traveler, PA Trapping and Outdoors, Georgia Trapping and Fishing, good people in here, guys. My Green Loan, please support him to check him out. And who else in there? So, greatly appreciate you guys. We might be <laughs> losing our tower here in a minute. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes no. Hunting and stuff with J and J. Guys, if you're not connected with him too, he is a great supporter. He's all over in other 
big supporting different channels check out with if you love outdoors hunting and everything check him out awesome support JNA from time to time so how's everybody doing tonight what you gonna be cooking first dinner <laughs> dinner time we dinner know time Jackie's I'm gonna have fish, fish. <laughs> have two fish. fish. <sighs> we had some noodles I made some gluten free noodles yes. Asian meets Cajun, <laughs> as we uh, we used uh, Cajun style andouille sausage and some beef, and I like a little bit of spicy. I don't like spicy where it burns the house down, but with teriyaki. Yeah, teriyaki sauce. So it's gluten made with yeah, gluten free noodles. Yeah, we get gluten free noodles, and that's so kind of nice. And I eat eat that way, and then I. I don't get so sick, you know, I don't like. Looks like a lot of deer comes growing through here. Now we got one more across the road. And... Good hit. Ay, ay, ay. Doing stuff. Jerky, jerky, because they're so nice. All right, see ya. Take care. Hey, trapping. Thank you for coming tonight. Yep, greatly you appreciate care. you joining in. People, please make sure you you uh, hit that thumbs up for us and leave. You know, leave us leave a genuine comment. comment, and we can get back to those who did not. Uh, we're not. That we're not. You know. Yeah, if you're friendly. new. Yeah, if you're new, just let us a message and we'll get back. Yeah, we'll get back to you after we get home. And Jackie's pretty good about that, you know, signing back up. So. Woo! Bumpy, bumpy. <laughs> well, it looks like a whole lot more of nothing. Nothing of nothing today. Yeah, and yesterday the coyotes came right past the set. Walked right down, went right past everything, you know. And then on the road, once we hit the main road down here, there was coyotes all over. It looked like there was about six or seven uh, coyotes down here. We have a rough trail. <laughs> yeah, everything's all iced up. Sit up, Mr. Craig. And we got to stay in the trail because everything's so bad. If we get a little bit off, it kind of flings us. So. And this is the main road down here. Whoa! Ooh, ee! Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah, this main road down here had tons of coyote sign running all up and down it. Can't get nothing in down here because they don't want them on the road. And they're such big pumps, but you can actually see them all out there. You can see tons of tracks. Yeah, tons of tracks. I mean, they're going down that way on that trail, but it's just too hard. I, you see the tracks? Yeah. yeah, all up and down the whole road. And the thing is, is they're following the deer, and the ground is so tough. I lost my hammer. I lost. Yeah, see, this is all coyote. This was all coyote. All bouncing down back and forth. That was all coyote yesterday. I don't have a, I don't have a trapper's hammer, and I don't have my my drill uh, drill bit that puts my stake in the ground. I mean, I could use a, uh, uh, a stake, or not a stake. What do they call them? A drag. I could use drags. You know, but and look at this. See, these all coyote things come right down. They walk it down the main roads. They don't want nothing to do with half 
out and being out. So I guess they're tired of walking through the <laughs> this this. Oh, hey, Guru, how you doing? You know, I don't call that a challenge. You didn't eat the whole peanut butter and egg. Come on now. You're supposed to eat it all. You taste it. Wow, we'll, we'll eat it. <laughs> Get into it. Yeah, I, I could probably eat it. Because I like egg. I love peanut butter. Me, Jaden probably wouldn't do it, but I could do it. Black I, Dragon, hello. Please, guys, if you're not connected to Guru and Wahoo, the turtle, his awesome channel with his buddy. With yeah, his he, buddy. yeah, he's got a challenge out right now. Uh, 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 eat peanut butter and an egg, you know, not separately, but together. You got to put peanut butter and egg on a fork and eat her up. And please connect also to Blood Dragon. Great, oh. great, great supporter. Hey, Blood great Dragon. Time. Hey, I haven't seen you in a little bit. Now, thanks for joining us. You know, we're on the... What's in here? We're done with... Ladybug, thank you for coming in, for joining us. These guys connect each other to Tina. Yeah, Ladybug. Please, please, please help us get our 1,400 watch hours. We have 1,400 left, and we really, really want to get those 1,400. Uh, and then we'll have some kind of a giveaway. Uh, Miss Jackie and I'll see what we're going to get or uh, what we're going to do. And we're going to give them out to our uh, our, uh, our subscribers only uh, because you guys help so much. You know, no problem. Yeah, and you know, why should we give them out to people that aren't subscribers? You know, uh, that Johnny come lately, so uh, we want to do something to show our appreciation that y'all are helping us. You know, put us over. I mean, you guys put us all over uh, uh, our 1K, so you know, um, we're we're still working on getting more, more and more. You know, but. Our watch hours is what we really need to get next. Mr. Craig said, I'll run your playlist tonight. They're just dropping. Thank you, Mr. Craig. Great, greatly appreciate that. We greatly appreciate it. There, is that a little more light for you? Yes. <laughs> they can see you now. Yeah, they can kind of see. <laughs> they see your beauty and the beast. <laughs> yeah, when, uh, when you turn the headlights on, everything in the dash dims down. So you got to flip the switch to get it back to being brighter. But she is cold out there, 11 below. And she's supposed to get even colder tonight. So please guys connect each other. You have the blue wrench now, you have your jacket. You can connect each other. You can just go to the channel and just leave them a genuine comment in watch your video. I'm blue like Smurfy. <laughs> yeah, and we're glad y'all y'all are with us, you know. You know, you come along on our journey. You know, Jaden got the ice fish today. He forgot to set the hook, otherwise he had a pretty good one on. Um, he just forgot how to do it through the ice. But we're gonna do more ice fishing videos too for you. Uh, we're gonna clean out the back of my truck and get all the all the trapping stuff out, and uh, then we're gonna start putting our ice fishing stuff in. We got a nice shanty to stay inside, stay warm, and everything, and try to get some perch, bluegill, crappie, maybe a bass or two, some walleye. Yeah, depending on where we go, uh, you know. Congrats on the 1K subs. Thank you. Yeah, just got to get that 1,400 watch hours, you know. Got to get that, you know. 
and I appreciate all of you guys because you all are such great supporters of us and you know and I know a lot of you guys I met on Machina you know and everybody knows Machina is just a wonderful person too you know oh yeah right guys if you're not connected to Machina the Kitobor life oh you need to visit uh oh live in Minnesota outdoors you need, we need to go there by you to ice fishing. Yeah. That's the one, yep. Yep, that's the one that told me mm -hmm. last year that yeah, I'm more than welcome to come up by them. Yep, I think they're doing ice fishing already. How are you doing? Man. How are you guys doing? He caught some big old perch. I was watching one of his videos. He caught some big old nasty perch, boy. Perch, I love perch now. You Send it to me. Uh, flay, <laughs> Send flay, it to flay me. it up. Yeah. <laughs> that's like one of my... One of my all-time favorites. I love perch. So please, guys, connect to Live in Minnesota Outdoors. They are a great channel. Yeah, Doing especially fishing. Oh, lots of fishing. Lots of ice fishing up and in great northern supporter. Minnesota. Fishing has been good. Yeah, I, I would love some. Oh, J they already uh, Jaden catch only two bluegills with our friend, Mr. Bob tonight. Yeah, we sat there and watched them. You know, it's fishing. just freezing today. I don't know what, how's the weather in there in Minnesota right now. I think we are in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just cold there too, just like it is around here. It's below 10 right now. Yeah, it was below 20, 28 this morning. Yeah, and it's supposed to get even colder. Plus the wind's supposed to pick up. They said something about a wind advisory. So it could even drop even lower not looking forward to that no so we're wearing our snow pants oh below 10 and windy yeah. yes with the windshield it's gonna be rough we did not bring our eye shanty ever so we just stopped by to see our friend in the lake so Jaden got to ice fishing with our friend yeah he's got a two-person clam that he can just flip up and over and he had a heater buddy in there and so it keeps them keeps them warm you know and that was fun fun for Jaden. you know once we get all our stuff going it's about time i ain't catching no coyotes we caught a bobcat the other day and didn't want no more of those but we got one and at least you caught something, because, boy, I really was looking for anything. Going out tomorrow. He's going out tomorrow fishing. Yes, I would love some if you're going to just cut the heads. I would love the heads. I'll cook them. <laughs> don't, don't lie, Jackie. She want, she want to eat the eyeballs. She'll cook the whole thing get the eyeballs. We have a winter weather advisory until tomorrow. School close early and starting late tomorrow. Where are you at, Tina? So it's, yes, we had already a lot of school closing because of the weather. Ice, uh, Ice icy road. So. Yankee Kyle in the house, please, guys. If you're not connected to Yankee Kyle, he is a great supporter. Really, really great supporter. How you doing, Kyle? And he's trying to get towards his 1K, too. I, I think he's like 500 something. Texas. He's from Texas. And he's trying to get to his 1K. So, everybody, help, help Kyle get get up there you know <laughs> and please make sure you give us the thumbs up live in minnesota said <laughs> where are you at we're in wisconsin we're just neighborhood in here where you located not sure how to mail fish <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah we're here in wisconsin yeah we're uh well to, from where we're at to the Minnesota border we're two hours so probably maybe two and a half hours to Minneapolis St. Paul uh, area because it's a 
from the exit we'd have to get on to the interstate it's 100 and it, it's at the 142 mile marker so that's 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 about two hour drive so please guys connect each other we have a great people here all of here are very great supporter great channel random j goldland usa but yeah it's always been one of the dream that i was a much nice man that perch you catch and jackie and i like perch and walleye but i just have to fillet mine because i can't eat i can't eat fish with bones that i had one caught in my throat and after that i i'm trauma these guys if you're not connected with random j he's like they're doing fishing too please connect to him to please great channel all our people are great 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 channel yeah, yeah there's fishing fishing everywhere <laughs> making me hungry Yeah, I was wanting to catch some of them big birds. shared both on you and my community. Thank and you, Kyle. He was, he was, ah, uh, ah, uh, living in Minnesota, uh, living in man. Catching like 12 inch perch the other day, big fatties. Man, I hadn't seen perch like that in a long time. I'd love to catch me some perch like that. Man, would I? Yes. Cause I know then Jackie will flame them up for me. Let me get some, some art. Another great channel, Steve from Wyoming. Oh, hey Steve, how you doing? We just got done checking our trap line. Please connect them guys. They're do doing hunting, outdoor stops. Beautiful family. Come on up. Perch fishing is best in March. Yeah, he would like to go there, live in Minnesota. Yeah, it's always been a thing I wanted to try, you know. Always, always, even from a young age, I'd see that, them guys, Linder and all that on TV up there, trying to catch all them big fish through the ice, man. And I was like, oh, God, I'd really love to do that. I love ice fishing. I love my trapping. Sometimes I let the trapping overrule my fishing. But thank you, Tina, for dropping Steve's uh, link. Appreciate that. So, guys, you can connect each other. Just leave them a genuine comment. Watch their video, and they'll. They're big supporters in you guys. Big, big supporters. I'm gonna have to go up by Steve and try to get me a, an antelope or a mule deer. I don't have an antelope. An, antelope and mule deer, they're kind of never. We don't have them around here. We don't have that much. And trying to get an elk around here, and we're only got five tags, and there's always like forty thousand people trying to go for the same dang elk. So it's like. Uh, like trying to win a Powerball. You said lots night. of an, an, antelope, man. Oh, antelope. man. I, I'd love to catch me an antelope. I, I really would. I never tried a win at all. You didn't. Yeah, they say you got to skin them right good? away. Or they... yeah. Thank uh, you, Tina, for dropping their link. And I guess it depends on how they're taken care of. I know most people from around here they say you gotta skin them right away, and then they're best just to be made into sausage. Sausage. Okay. Especially getting Jaden some of that stuff, an antelope, a mule deer, or something. I'd be so happy to see that. You know, see my boy getting them. Cause that—that's what every every dad wants to see. Yeah, he'd like to get them, but 
like to see their kids catching them. I deer hunting this year a little bit. Then he got he got sick uh, for the second day of youth hunt, and then uh, during the gun season he he was just bad sick. He had oh fever. outdoors big with big Matt in the house. We're just watching your video before we left the house. He <laughs> he's just laughing whatever yeah. what video was. Yeah, you know you're afraid to get in there underneath that that lever and pull that trap down. You know, Miss Jackie does it. You know, <laughs> Miss Jackie does it. She she does my heavy duty ones even. So you got you got to get up in there. You know, lift that lift that jaw up and get underneath. One finger underneath the pan, thumb That's on the good. top, and pull it down till it clicks. These guys, if you're not connected to Big Matt, please check him out. Big supporter, yeah. and with his family, together with his family too. Yeah, he, he's a good family man. And boy, you got, you got lucky for everybody's a, a family in here. For a guy that does a lot of knife making, boy, you got some really good carbon steel there. You're gonna make able to make something really nice a good knife or something yep thank you kyle good night also to live in minnesota who else in here steve from like wyoming been watching been watching too big matt to see if you've been going live i haven't seen you live in a while. Jay. he did live the other i think during the day you're still sleeping <laughs> no, i i don't know i hadn't seen Something I think it's Yankee said Kyle, days. Random J, in here. Live in Minnesota, Georgia, trapping and fishing. They are very supportive channel guys. They're family. Yeah, we miss your life. Kyle the other day sometimes when <laughs> at night when you go live we're in bed but sometimes we just run it we're just muted and we're watching because I work during the day and he's tired he was not feeling good so we just run it and let it watch you know stay tuned in your life yeah and big Matt and that we're outside and shirts kids were in shirts and shorts you don't get that right now here at 11 below. <laughs> we'll change the weather for a little while. I'll take that nice sunny warm weather. Where are they at? They're uh, uh, South Texas, somewhere's, oh. somewhere's uh, outside of, I, I think, Houston area. So I know it's warm down there. We've been there many times. Yeah, yeah, Houston, South Texas. We're all over Texas. <laughs> yeah, we used to go all over Texas all the time. I went. I think I've been for how many? How many states? I think twenty-six uh, or thirty-two. I've been to twenty-six or thirty-two states. Well, I, not no, much in East Coast though. No, East Coast and not because a whole you lot stopped driving in it. Yeah, not much in the West too. Yeah, not much from like. I don't even think you've been to the Dakotas, but I that's my first when I oh Dakota, yes. Please. North and South Dakota. Yep. But yeah, pretty much from the Dakotas down to Texas, Jackie's been in and then pretty much uh from out to Ohio, uh south to the Carolinas, down into Florida and over to Texas. That's Primarily where I ran the last saw so many years. And that wasn't so bad. Be cold up here and get down to Texas and get the get the shorts and tank tops out. <laughs> Guys used to look at me weird when I get down there going to one of the, the freezers to check in and they'll be like, Aren't you cold? I says, No, I just came from you know, Wisconsin, you know, 10, 20 below <laughs> hey, this is this here is warm weather
gotta eat while I dinner. Have a great night. Oh man, you're making me hungry. What is <laughs> Live in Minnesota. Oh, <laughs> I have my bluegills. Two bluegills. Two, blue, two bluegills. <laughs> That's all she got tonight. That's all they caught within an hour. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Rustic Outdoors, thank you for coming. If you are not supporting us, if you are not connected to Rustic Outdoors, he's all over the world. <laughs> he's been with different channel. So thank you so much, Rustic Outdoors, for the support. But we are, we can stay at Yep. Yeah, so, yeah. We're at home now, so I got to go in and get some of my clothes off. But Jackie could probably take it in the house. And, oh, I or cut. Yeah. All, right. All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you so much for sharing us. And it will help up our watch hours too. So we greatly appreciate everybody here. And please watch as many videos as you can. We, we really need to get our 1,400 hour, 1400 watch hours left. So we're really trying to get that. So... If you could really help us out, get our watch hours in, we'd greatly appreciate it. And we love you all, and God bless you yeah, all. Yeah, we love you all, guys. And if you guys are not connected to Miss Sheena, the key to board life, please, she will go live around 10 to 10, 10, 10 30, 30 p.m. Central time. Central time. She is an amazing woman. Please, please, and you will get more people in there from her channel too and she will shout out you and so again thank you so much have a good night we love you all